What's good, y'all? It's Well Squad Chris. So check this out. It's Friday. It's a beautiful Friday. So this morning I woke up and took profits in this Apple trade. So I ended up making ten thousand dollars in Apple trade. Then I went on to make five thousand dollars trading some other things. Nvidia and Google. So fifteen thousand uh, dollars today. Some slight, some very slight. Using the same exact strategy that I've showed y'all already. I already made a YouTube video showing y'all. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I use the strategy today to hit on this Apple trade. Ten thousand dollars, like I said, right? Hundred percent profit. Let's get it. Well, here's the well squad. So inside the well squad. There's the whiteboard section, and this is where I tell people what I'm buying. So in the whiteboard, so yesterday, a screenshot of my brokerage account, which is the Chase brokerage account. Uh, so this would be 11:28 my time where I'm at in uh, in Houston, Texas. Right, I bought these Apple calls that expire 9-9, $155 strike. I have bought 52 of them. Right. Uh, my limit was 56 and I ended up getting them executed at 55 cents each, right? So then at 11.29, so I bought them at 11.28, 11.29, I posted them. I posted this to, this was uh, Apple on a 15 minute chart. So we're at the bottom of the price channel and we're at uh, a low RSI. So y'all know that's the entry, right? So let's go over to, uh, to think or swim let's pull up a 15 minute chart uh, we at oh that was around here so the rsi i think this is uh i think this is set to california time that's what it is or west coast time my think or swim is so it's two hours behind here so anyway <clears throat> So we we're buying at the bottom of this. So Apple was at 153.17. 153.17. It was around here. Boom, hit the bottom of this price channel. This RSI right here was below 30. So we're rubbing up against the bottom of the price channel. RSI is 30. And then uh, we got in. And then eventually it ran. Then it ran, then it ran, then it ran, then it ran, then it ran. All right. Same thing here. So you're looking for extremes. So same thing here. Bottom of the price channel, low RSI. You'd be buying here on this bar, and then you get out once it pops. So so what we did, we bought the bottom of this price channel, and then we just let that thing run. So uh, end up selling here, around here. So look, from RSI, look, look at my cursor. From extreme to extreme, from extreme low RSI to extreme high RSI. So buy there and then sell in this area, which gave me 100% return. So all right, so then this morning, I'm out of Apple, great ass play. So I ended up selling for a uh, uh, dollar and eight cents. Right, so I bought for 55, 56 cents. Oh wait, hold on. I actually, I bought some more after I told the Well Squad about it. Man, I was just liking that place so much. I had to go get some more. So the first time I spent $2,900 on it, the second time I spent 7,300, which ends up giving me like near 10k all right and then when it was time to sell <clears throat> when it was time to sell at 102 percent profit which ends up being ten thousand five hundred dollars i sold that and then i took that and bought some income right so i took this whole 20k now this 10k is taxable right your capital gain is taxable I took that whole 20K and I went and got bought some stocks that pay income. All right. So here, I'll, I'll tell you guys that too. All right. Buy more income with MPW. Taking the profits from my Apple trade and rolling them down into long-term 
investments. That's the name of the game. Here's a weekly chart of MPW. It fell from 23.50, so it has a chance to run back up, which will give us a 57% return. And the dividend is $1.16 per share per year. I'm taking Apple trade profits and buying forever income. All right. So what you can see is I bought 1,384 shares of MPW. Now watch this. So what, 20,000, so the money I put in plus the return, 20,832. Like I said, that 10,000 that I made is taxable. All right, so then, I turn and buy 1,384 shares times $14.82. Boom, there goes the 20K. Gone, just like that, right? Now, 1,384 shares that I just bought, you get paid $1.16 per share per year and a dividend. So it gives me $1,600, right? $1,600 per year that I added to my position. So my total position pays me like $12,000 now. So every time I hit on a trade, that's what I'm doing. I'm coming to buy long-term investments. So quick money becomes forever money. Like I said here, quick money becomes forever money. All right. So <clears throat> all in total, MPW is going to have to pay me uh, like $12,800 a year, which ends up being about $1,000 a month. So I'm taking my trading money and I'm investing it into long term buying holds, which will pay me dividends, which average out to be about $1,000 uh, a month. All right. So that's the name of the game. I just want to show you guys that.